Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How did you end up in the Bitcoin uh, rabbit hole? Ah, that's a good question. I'm a software engineer at heart. I was working in finance. I think a colleague told me about you know Bitcoin, and I was uh, skeptical at the beginning. But then I. You know, I also saw some article on, like, I don't know if you know Slashdot. Not yet. But they were talking really bad about Bitcoin. So I was like, no, this is a scam. This is yeah. terrible. And then another friend told me he was uh, buying stuff online with Bitcoin. And I was very curious why, you know, people would accept it. But I started looking to it and I figured that there was a space to develop more stuff for it. That it was actually, a, you know, an amazing innovation. And I fell in love with it. So I dropped my job and created a startup. This one? No, it's related. Like, I sold my startup to this one. But yeah, I've been working with Blockstream for a number of years now for Blockstream I was working at uh, Green Address so this is the product that came into Blockstream Green. Today what is your solution? What, you, what are you providing for like uh, just we, to, we to provide well Blockstream provides many different things in this area we're basically providing a software wallet that works on Android, iOS, Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever, and also hardware wallet. So hardware signer, devices that keep your private keys. So when you make Bitcoin transactions, they're you know they're not on a laptop that it's easier to hack or install you know bad software or malware. It's designed to sign Bitcoin transactions. And is there any specification um, compared to other hardware wallet that we we should know about? Well, it's a bit different. I think it's uh, unique. There's Trezor, there's Ledger, there's Cold Card, there's Bitbox, and they all do things a little bit different. So Trezor doesn't have a secure element. They use a commodity MCU from ST. It's an ARM chip. Cold Card does the same, but they also have two secure elements. Ledger has only one secure element, but it's uh, more potent, more powerful secure element. And JD uses a different approach. We have an MCU. It's not ARM. It's uh, SP32. But we also have another layer of security using something we call the blind pin oracle, which allows basically to have almost like a remote secure element, a virtual secure element of sorts. As a user, what could be your advice to someone that wants to start in the Bitcoin journey? Well, read a lot, be very careful, be humble, stack sats. Don't get too distracted with uh, altcoins and things like that. That's my opinion. Okay.